Hi, welcome back to Food Travel Shopping Channel, and you are watching Cooking for the Holidays. For this Christmas 2020, I will be cooking the following on my menu. The first is going to be my Roof Chris version of the potato akutang. And the main star of my dish will be roasted crown of lamb with crusted potassio, served with coconut mushroom risotto. And the second star of my dish on my menu is going to be the baked salmon with puff pastry. Finally, to serve it on the side, I will have roasted broccoli rabi with parma ham. And for desserts on the menu will be the butter cookies Christmas tree. I hope the dish on my menu will inspire you to cook for this Christmas holiday as you will be celebrating in an intimate Christmas holiday dinner. Let's the Christmas cooking begins! Okay, here are the ingredients for our potato au gratin. And we have a total of three cups of cheese here. So this is um, two cups of the cheddar cheese, three fourth cup of our provolone cheese, and uh, three fourth cup of the provolone cheese, as well as one fourth cup of our Parmesan cheese. And we'll mix it all together. And this is our total of three cup of cheese, half of an onion, minced it. We have three fourth cup of the chicken stock, one and a quarter cup of the heavy cream. We have our potatoes here. So approximately um, five to six of the Roselt potato. Okay, first of all, we want to melt our butter first. Okay, once the butter is melted, we're going to add in our minced onions. All right, so we're gonna saute this until the onions are translucent. So three to five minutes. Medium high heat. All right, so while we're sauteing the onions, it's time to season the onions. So black pepper. We're gonna season it with a pinch of salt. Let's give it a good stir. Okay, we're gonna add in our garlic. So I'm gonna add a little bit more black pepper here. All right, we're gonna add in our chicken stock now. Okay, we're gonna add in our heavy cream. All right, give it a good stir. All right, we're gonna add in our potatoes now. I'm gonna bring this to a simmer. All right, so now the it is to a simmer. So now we're gonna turn it to medium low heat. We're gonna close the lid and we're gonna cook it for 15 minutes. Okay, we can remove this from our heat and turn it off. So with a baking dish, we are going to transfer over our potatoes. All right, so I'm just gonna layer my potatoes on the bottom first. Alright, so as I'm layering my potatoes, and then I am going to 
sprinkle some cheese. So I want this dish to be very, very cheesy. All right. So I'm in a layer with some cheese. And then add our potatoes. Get all the potatoes out. So two layers here. It's gonna be lots of cheese on top. All right, so actually I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese here first. is going to completely cover our potatoes so that's good and finally we're gonna top it off with lots of cheese here's our roof crisp potato au gratin and we're now gonna put it into the oven all right so i'm gonna put it into the oven right now now I have my roasted lamb next to it. Now in case there's any spillover, I want to put a cookie sheet on the bottom. So let's put it in for 15 minutes. 425 degrees. All right, so there's a reason why I put a baking sheet. You can see everything, like all the uh, potato sauce and the cream actually oozed it out and that's perfectly fine and um, that's why you do want a baking pan right underneath it because of the spillover. Okay, let's take a look at our Roof Chris version of the potato au gratin and see how it turns out. Oh my goodness, you can see the cheese. Just want the crustiness of the cheese. Oh my goodness, wow, look at this, full of cheese. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video on the Roof Chris version of the potato au gratin. If you like this video, please give me a like, hit the like button below. And if you have not yet subscribed to our food travel shopping channel, you've been missing out so hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell notification for the latest video and update i wish you and your family a happy holidays please stay safe and healthy thanks for watching